Don't live beyond your means, people. If I ever do become financially a success story, I could do a series on that, like talking about my experiences with money and, you know. I'm a boss bitch. I can buy myself anything I want any day of the week. I, that's the problem. Like I'm sitting here alone in this fucking hotel room with all this stuff and money. I'm like, I have a lot of money. I made like fucking $20,000 in a month. Bye Natter, have a nice life with Dee Dee. I'm sure you'll be nice and bored. But don't worry, she'll provide lots of gas station booze just for you on her care and office budget. Classy buying fucking wine from the Petro Canada. Bitch, I buy us fucking $70 bottles when we drank, you stupid asshole. Because you're a nobody without me. You're a nobody. You're a get, got no ghetto trash piece of Moroccan shit who fucking is nobody. Like, you're nobody. Like, who are you? Like, nobody even knows who the fuck you are. I sold my TV. I did not sell my TV because I'm poor. They became sweet. Mm -hmm. They became sweet. <laughs> Debbie! Debbie! Welfare office, Debbie! I have him literally blocked everywhere. I cut his phone off yesterday. Um, not 4K a month. Oh, actually, you know what? Probably. Pretty close. Not counting all, like, any weed, any drug, like, any drugs as in, like, edible stuff like that mushroom all me nothing other than that, though no more money no more nothing from me i give him money like candies because money doesn't fucking matter you know money is nothing to me it will matter when you're broke that's true why are you broke all of a sudden i'm not broke uh, well, you know, no, it's not about, it's not just about the money. It's about getting content out for you guys. You guys want some content. So, you know, I'll be as sweet as pie tomorrow. Oh, you know it. You know, I'm going to manipulate the fuck out of you and you're going to eat it up and you're going to watch me. <laughs> like I'm trying to get out of this. So I've been talking to my family. They're helping me financially a bit. They're helping me financially a bit. Oh. And I don't care about any, I don't care about money. I hate money. I hate, I hate being rich. I hate having money. I hate making $50,000 a month. I hate that people are poor. <laughs> you're an old teeth. You will die alone and fucking without a fucking headstone because your dollar ninety nine means you're a broke ass bitch. Goodbye. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No man. So, I guess if you want to hate and be a, be a loser, you can do it on Discord. You can go to Kiwi Farms. You can go to Charlie Gold. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, my name is Charlie. Please consider subbing before you exit this video. This video will serve as an example of why Chantel's words and actions, majority of the time, do not age well. Over the last year to year and a half, Chantel has been able to capitalize off of her just publicly destroying her life in ways she's never seen before when it comes to this platform. And during that time, she liked to add little reminders. People wishing they were me. People wishing they were me. You wish you were me. You know. That's why you fucking hate. Because you're fucking jealous. <laughs> Here. Here's to you. Oh. Who's got 2,100 people watching them? Not you, bitch. Me. Not you, bitch. Fuck you. Someone looking on the outside in who doesn't know the history of Chantel may just simply assume that she's invested back into herself. And in a way she did. However, the way she did it didn't age well. She invested money into a bum who helped her collect STDs like their Pokemon. If I don't have the clap, I'm gonna be so thankful.
of course, the endless drugs. I was using him as a weight loss tool. Seriously, the partying, him and the partying, if you get my drift. Like not sleeping and just like being stressed out and not eating. I know like you guys are gonna think that I don't deserve a platform right now but I'm just asking you please try not to silence me because I really need you guys right now like I do because if I hadn't didn't have you guys for support and to be able to come and like this is therapeutic for me and I think for people who are youtubers it is and that's why we do it it's our outlet even if you don't think it's healthy um, and it's a means of support. Like if I didn't have a way to support myself right now and I had to be like homeless, I would be even more in drugs, you know? The food. <laughs> Groceries. Like I paid for everything. Thousands of dollars. And gas money. I felt, I feel disrespected. Like, I don't feel, like, supported. Like, I feel, like, the ganged up on more, and I don't feel like I'm defended enough, and he just, like, who cares? Like, just let them talk shit. Um, you know, it's, you always tell me who cares what they say. They don't need to know. I give them the information I want to give them. They don't have to know everything about us. Like, he's more, like, clammed up than I am. I mean, I know I'm fat and bald, but come on, I'm sure I can find somebody that I don't have to friggin' pay for. Now here we are today, and her income doesn't look the same. And she's back to using her low BMI voice in hopes that people will sign on for her new Patreon. Um, please get off your high horse. This is a new money grab. <laughs> It's not really money grab. It's not like I make a super amount of money off of these things. You know, I totally don't expect people to sign up until I have content. Like when I had my Patreon last time, that's how what I was using to make a living. I was using my Patreon because like, you know, everyone got my channel taken down. But like, you, you know, I still had my audience just kind of floating in the atmosphere. So... You guys followed me. Thank you so much. She posted a recent community post about a new Patreon venture that she's going on. This is probably the 10th at this point. Now, what's interesting about this is if she's going to offer something exclusive to her patrons or on any other platform, you would think that she'd try to at least consider building a stronger foundation when it comes to her YouTube channel and the members that she currently has. But of course it's Chantel and that's not a thought for her. It would take her caring about her platform even slightly more than the monetary gain that she could get from it and thinking about the fact that the members and the super chats are really what carries her channel. Now is any of this shocking? No. When money's running low or if Chantel's noticing how much other creators make off of her, she does things like this. Will it work out in the end? Probably not, based on her past. Success can look very different depending on the person. To simply succeed at her trying something new can simply just mean her staying consistent for longer than she has before, or Chantel providing more than she has in the past. Just doing something different that counters the criticism that she's received in the past. She currently has an OnlyFans. I don't know how consistent she is when it comes to that. From time to time, I may see a post on Twitter, but I don't believe there's many people signed on for that. When it comes to this Patreon, I think the last time she tried this, the reason it was slightly successful is simply because at the time, her channel was terminated. She was still a public figure, and there was still a portion of her audience who wanted access to her, who wanted to have her a part of their daily life. When it comes to this newest attempt at Patreon, it's probably going to be very similar to her second channel, to the postcard tier that she has for her members, and to her OnlyFans. It's going to be deserted. It all, to me, always looks like a money grab based on the fact that Chantal never follows through with any of these things. Whether it's a dollar, whether it's two dollars, or whether it's five or more. There are people who are actually investing into her, whether they're a hate watcher or a genuine supporter. 
there are people who are going to invest in her to eventually not receive what they thought they were paying for. That's one of the most consistent things about Chantel when it comes to her platforms. She will not follow through and then turn around and blame her audience while raging. Speaking of rages, just like clockwork. So while I'm driving there, I thought I would vent, not rage, vent. Another thing people are doing with no life, <clears throat> probably the same people who were on fucking Monty's panel, now bored and horny with nothing to fucking do, are trying to mess with my life even more now. The minute I sign up for Patreon, they have to go and mass report with their several alias accounts that I break terms of service. So now my account is flagged and I'm betting it's that fucking woman who looks like a gerbil. I can't tell her and that breezy lady apart. They both look like hamsters. Same eyebrows, same thin lips, same gerbil features, same boring ass content. Stealing from me. Fuck you both. And you know what? <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm in a moody. I'm in a moody. Yeah, I am. And we all know where it goes from here. Chantel either continuing to rage or she'll put on that low BMI voice to cook or clean. Now, when it comes to financial struggles, so many people go through it. Over the past, what, two years, we've been in this panini press, and of course right now we're dealing with inflation, so there's a lot of people struggling financially. It's a stressful time for so many people, even people currently listening in or watching in on this video now. However, when it comes to Chantal Marie, that big bad body bigot gets no sympathy from me. Bigots deserve the worst, and failing financially so publicly after a lot of the things she's said in the past that is something i proudly celebrate chantelle has been able to capitalize and monetize her being ableist homophobic transphobic racist and so many other things that's against terms of service like what is that it's so fucking retarded and anyways i've had men message me and like are you into Don um bye guys i don't know why not <sighs> Actually, not really. Must have been with someone fucking nasty. Maybe a guy. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding, but I heard that like it's transmitted a lot easier between like. Cause you're a nobody without me. You're a nobody. You're a get, got no ghetto trash piece of Moroccan shit who fucking is nobody. Like you're nobody. Like who are you? Like nobody even knows who the fuck you are. I love when people fucking hate me for no reason. I love it. It gives me ammunition. I, I made 500 bucks super chats on the stream. That make that must make people so mad. I fucking love it. Mm. So to see where she is now and tiptoe around it puts a smile on my face and I stand by that. Why are you broke all of a sudden? I'm not broke. Uh, well, you know, no, it's not about, it's not just about the money. It's about getting content out for you guys. You guys want some content. So, you know, I personally won't support or root for a bigot, but I will have no issue monetizing my opinions on them, including the times they struggle. I still hate it. Like, do I give a fuck? No, not one. How many fucks do I get? Zero. Exactly. So therefore your comment is irrelevant. We all have choices, especially choices in what we share online. I'm grateful Chantel continues to overshare. She is a content gift that keeps on giving. That's why I'm still around even while waiting for a hurricane to pass. Based on her past behavior, not much is going to change with Chantel. That's why it's so easy to predict what may happen next. In the meantime, she can continue to choose to get high to escape her reality, because the reality is those FUPA flex days are done. That's the problem. Like I'm sitting here alone in this fucking hotel room 
with all this stuff and money. I'm like, I have a lot of money. I made like fucking $20,000 in a month. And the chances of her seeing those days again are slim to none. I love that for her. I appreciate anyone who was able to take the time to watch today's video. Please consider giving it a like. And if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed and not receiving notifications, please consider unsubscribing, resubscribing, and set notifications to all. Remember guys, be better today than you were yesterday and greater tomorrow than you will be today. And if all else fails, please remember, being a very popular train wreck online is actually not a very wise business model. Later. Who's got 2,100 people watching them? Not you, bitch. Me. Not you, bitch. Fuck you. Blessings falling on me. I got weapons, need no army. Is that like Tetris? You don't know me. Is that my fatty? You don't know me. Okay, hey now, it's a new kid on the playground. So many bags on me, you would have thought I was a spray ground. Now they know I don't play around. I can hear what you're saying now. I just doubled up my flight miles. Coast to coast, no, they ain't in town. I get rich, watch, then I get a sick watch. Watch me hit the top, I might make a tick tock. Left hand, right hand. Catch the latest trend, I might double up my net worth. I've been going up now, see the top going down. If you didn't know now, I know you know now. Best cut seeker going top, you not really top. You keep saying top, well, I guess you let the top down. I've been going up now, see the top. I want it.